Hello everyone, Nick of Street Pass Princeton, and we're going to be looking in the Pokken Tournament Field Guide Test Booklet. So, we'll be looking at it right now. So, this is... Uh, let me actually uh, get the camera a little zoomed in. Okay. I'm actually like doing this like oblong with my hands. So, an original Pokemon experience. Move freely with simple commands in the first ever one-on-one -on -one Pokemon fight. Realistic Pokemon join the battle. Uh, Pokemon are brought to life like never before through realistic graphics. The graphics are actually very awesome. Let me just... Um, yeah, hopefully the page doesn't close. Because I really want to zoom in on those words. Okay. In an island called the Forum Region... Mysterious rocks known as Synergy Stones unite humans and Pokemon alike. Did the phenomenon, a unique type of Pokemon event, take place Ferrum Battles? So there's the Synergy Stone. Ferrum Battles are battles where humans linked with powerful Pokemon battle one-on-one. -on -one. To this day, within these battles, the cooperative strength of the Pokemon and their trainers are tested. These battles... Uh, these Ferrum Battle events have become a massively popular sport within Ferrum region. Hi there, my name's Naya. I'll be your Ferrum Battle Trainer. I'll be showing you how to play Pokémon. Okay. Start the game. Insert credits and press start to begin game. Select the mode you want to play with the directional inputs and press the button to confirm. There we go. Game modes. So, single battle. Uh, that's select your preferred difficulty and battle against CPU. Local battle, you battle against a other players in the arcade, or you can do a tutorial, uh, which I don't really remember playing at all. <laughs> and then we got Naya saying, first time players should try the tutorial. With single battle or tutorial, you can enjoy the game on your own without being challenged by others. Personally, I think the uh, challenging others is the only way you learn to play. It's like any game. I mean, you can play so good against the CPU, you're not going to get good if you don't play against others. So here we go. Here's the battle screen with all the numbers and bunch. So as we can see, number one is the Pokemon, the player and Pokemon info. That shows your bar gauge. And to the top left, it shows your synergy gauge and your, um, your assist Pokemon. So you have an assist Pokemon. And you have... Uh, oh, I have to sit down. So got to make this easy on me so that way you guys get the fullest... Ugh. Okay, so player plus Pokemon info, your Pokemon battle time, opponent info, opponent's Pokemon, Naya's advice. So Naya's advice is in the top left corner, then you got your opponent in the top right, you got the two Pokemon, two and five, and then three is the amount of time that you have left. So, three is the amount of time you have left. So, Pokemon info. Okay. Support gauge. When full, you can summon your support Pokemon. Synergy gauge. Once full, you can release your synergy burst. HP gauge. If your Pokemon HP reaches zero, you will lose the round. Rounds one. Okay. So, there's the control. L is your support Pokemon. R is to block. The character movement. Press twice to step. Uh, X is a strong attack, A is a Pokemon move, B is jump, and Y is a weak attack. So you've got grabs, which is YB, uh, grab block opponents and attacks. Uh, you can counterattack, intercept a cunning ass, or unleash your own. Uh, synergy burst, which is L and R, and then burst attack, which is during synergy burst. And you do your most powerful attack. And you probably, if you watch my videos, you get the idea. So Poke Combo. So, during dual phase, rapidly press Y for a simple combo. The first player to win two rounds claims victory. Battle up to three times. The player to win two rounds first is victorious. Deplete your opponent's HP and win the round. Okay. Alright, so here's the battle system. So, the battle shifts between two active fronts. The field phrase 
and the dual phase. The field phase, you're, you're able to walk around more freely. It's more freeform. In dual phase, it's only like close range. You're only left to right. You can only move in a two-dimensional. Two in field phase, it's more three-dimensional in the way it works. So field phase, more phase, more three-dimensional. Dual phase, more two-dimensional. Then you've got the phase shift. Certain attacks force phase shifts. During phase shifts, the synergy gauge fill rapidly. During f dual phase, a certain level of damage can force a phase shift. But during field phase, there are certain like things that'll pop up that you can get to build up. I don't know what they're called, but you can get like little like bars that'll build up your synergy gauge during the field phase. So we've got each phase isn't just a visual angle. Change the gameplay uh, changes as well, including the directional controls, so be careful. During field phase, you can move freely in a dynamic 3D battle. Look for ways to gain the upper hand, such as using synergy power, your support Pokemon, and other attacks. Collect synergy power during the field phase to boost your synergy gauge. Dual phase. This 2DS battle features intense action and dramatic defense techniques up and down in combination with the attack buttons produce various actions. High stance up, most of the attacks go upward, making them strong against foes. Down, low stance, most of these attacks are low or reach far. Uh, it may be a little difficult at first, but just remember you can approach your opponent by holding forward. Okay, moving on. So we got Battle System 2, Synergy Burst. A massive power-up is available. Uh, once the Synergy Gauge is full, you hit L and R. For a limited time, defense, all those attributes, they increase. And uh, how the gauge changes and how long it lasts varies per Pokemon. Um, and the L and R is how you perform the Burst Attack. You can use the attack only once, and it's a very powerful and dramatic attack. Uh, I really enjoy Suicunes. That's one of my favorite, where she uh, catches the uh, opponent in like a freezy frenzy, and she steps on the ground, and she's like, "You're screwed!" And this whole bunch of ice shoots out from everywhere, and your opponent gets just slammed. I, in one of my videos, I screwed someone over, and, and at the end, it said, "Excellent," and I and their face was like, "Oh, okay," and I'm like, "Yep, I just won." <laughs> Uh, so Naya says, once you activate your Synergy Burst, attack your opponent with everything you have. Make sure you use your Burst attack before the Synergy Burst ends. So here's the attack triangle. Normal, Grab, and Counter Attacks all have a, a rock, paper, scissors style re re rela uh, relationship. With the right attack, you can land a critical hit, quickly filling your Synergy Gauge. Normal Attacks, Grab Attacks, Counter Attacks. Normal attacks are X and Y. Grab attacks are Y and B. Counter attacks are X and A. So that's how you perform them. Um, so as you can see, there's this little triangle here. And it shows that normal attacks beat grabs. Grabs beat counters. And counters beat normals. So similar to Dead or Alive, it's the triangle in which you try to beat one another. It's also similar to Fire Emblem, if you remember uh, about axes, lances, and swords. So, if you remember the triangle, you'll be able to win. But remember, mind games and other tactics will have to be used, so definitely be good at that. So, we've got counter attacks, grab attacks, and normal attacks. So, alright. So, here we go, battle system. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quicker. By using attacks, enhance, and disrupt effects, these Pokemon support you in battle. You can summon them once your support gauge is full. Each Pokemon has its own unique support. Fill it up over time. Displays temporary status effects. Attack, enhance, and disrupt. And status effect, positive and negative. Certain attacks cause time-limited status effects. When status effects are inflicted, a status icon near the HP gauge will display the effect. Okay, so select support set, planning and timing. After you select your battle Pokemon, you select up to three support sets. Before each round, you can change your support Pokemon. So there are three support Pokemon sets. So you have 
the first set, which is Emolga and Fennekin. Then the second set, which looks like to me, I want to say Lapras and Snivy. And then the last one is Frogadier and Eevee. So I personally enjoy Frogadier. Uh, Naya's cheering. Between rounds, during the planning, Naya may cheer you on. She may boost your synergy gauge. Allow you to choose support Pokemon, right? Etc. Even if you haven't won a round, don't give up. Try new support Pokemon and strategies. And she cheers on them from the side. She's like, yay, you did good, or yay, this is what you can do better. Although, unfortunately, all of her cheering is in Japanese. So, good luck with reading that. Unless you're Japanese, then you have the advantage, sir. Okay, so, here we go. Aim for phase shifts. During the field phase, look for openings, then attack. Invoke a phase shift. Your synergy gauge will greatly increase, turning the battle in your favor. When you cause a phase shift, you gain a little HP. Aim for Poke Combos. During the full fuel, uh, fuel phase, rapidly press Y will increase a Poke Combo. Try to land as many as you can. Once you get used to combos, see which one best works for your Pokemon. If you can land the first hit, the series will combos together. So combos are key. So Master Jump and Blocks. Defense is a must. You can use Jump to evade attacks and close... Defen uh, distance, this is really important. So we got block with the, I believe, L button, and then jump with the, uh, let's see. I don't want to go back, but I do want to just see real quickly. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to slow it down. If you checked on the video, you already know what jump and block does. So look back in the video for that. So we got overpower with synergy burst. Okay, your synergy burst is a big power boost. So be sure to use it often. If your opponent releases their own Synergy Burst, don't rush in and attack. Play safe and block. Uh, when you release your Synergy Burst, you will be invincible. You will use rep uh, to repel an ag aggressive foe. Uh, during Synergy Burst, weak attacks cannot stun you. So get close and attack. Very key. Very, very key. Okay. Amolga and Fennekin. Support Pokemon at offer unique strategic options, only limited by your imagination. You can change your strategy based on how you, your opponent fights during the first round. Amolga and Fennekin. Oh, effective against fast opponents, showing them on impact. Okay. And then Fennekin, which uh, when used up close, attack overwhelms, forces the opponent back. So, and then she says that Weevil is her favorite Pokemon. So cute! Such as bullet Pokemon, I just endure. Uh, Weavile is definitely a very good Pokemon to use. Very quick, very fast. But uh, if you can counter Weavile, then Weavile can be useless. But depending on who you play as, Weavile is very useful. And I believe Weavile was used in the Pokemon Championships. So if you've seen matches with Weavile, Weavile is actually a pretty formidable opponent. So I have to agree with that. So here we go, battle Pokemon. So the grab command, Y and B, X and A to counter, X for homing, and and you cancel with, uh, what is it, R and or B. Your Poke combo, which is Y rapidly. Now here you got Lucario, Aura Sphere, Bone Rush, Force Palm, Extreme Speed. Oh man, I never forget this one battle. I was battling this girl at D&B's. And you kept using the same... Okay, case in point, don't use the same move over and over and over again. She kept using Bone Rush so much, but, I mean, I was really tired for Comic-Con, and she managed to beat me just by the skin of my teeth. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to smack talk against this person because they think they can do the same move over and over again. I was like, so you like the same move. Why don't you mix up your strategy? So, unfortunately, um, when you call someone out on their, their strategy doing the same move and over it, it's always a good idea because you want to pressure your opponent into thinking that it's not a good idea to use the same attack because it's not. So that way, they try to do something else, and then you screw them over. So just so you know, screw over your opponent by telling them not to do the same attack over and over and over again. So then we got Pikachu. So... Burst attack, bolt shot fist. Then his is uh, Aurora Blast. Um, you got Thunderbolt, Nuzzle, Electro Ball, Thunder. You got the standard moves for the uh, Phase Shift Strike, Heavy Blow, Cross Attack, Pressure Attack. And his is uh, Phase Strike, Heavy Blow, and Anti-Grab Strike. 
Both are standard Pokemon. Okay. Machamp. Uh, Machamp is a burst attack dynamic fury. He's power. Bulk up. A. Powers up Pokemon one time. Cross chop after bulk up. A. Submission. Uh, forward and A. Close combat during duels. Down A. Phase shift strike. X. Heavy blow. Down and uh, two X's. Uh, then there's cross attack. D uh, back. X, Y. You got Gardevoir. Fairy Tempest is a burst attack. Dynamic Fury is Machamp. Power is Machamp. Technique is for Gardevoir. You got Psy Shock, Stored Mind, Calm Mind, and Magical Leaf. Ambush Strike, Phase Shift Strike, and Pressure Strike. I would go through all of them with the um, button combos, but it would take me probably longer, and this video is already 15 minutes, so I don't want to bore anyone to death. Uh, we got Weavile here. Weavile's burst attack is Sonic Slash. Agility Fury Swipes, Agility Fake Out, Nake um, Knock Off, Night Slash, Stopping Strike, Phase Shift Strike, Heavy Blow. We got Suicune here, Roar Beam, Hydro Pump, Mirror Coat, Blizzard, Stomping, st stopping Strike, Phase Shift Strike, Blow Back Strike. Charizard, Flamethrower, Fire Punch, Flare Blitz, Seismic Tosk, Am Ambush Strike, Pressure Strike, and Heavy Blow. Uh, Charizard's Spurst is Searing Blaze. Suicune's is True Sheer true, um, true sheer Cold. That's one of my favorites, personally. And then you got the last one in this booklet, Gengar. Uh, Shadow Drop is its burst attack. You got Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, Shadow Punch, Curse. Stopping Strike, Heavy Blow, Cross Attack. All very good attacks. And then you got your support Pokemon. Like I said earlier, there is Eevee and Frogadier. Eevee is Enhanced Pokemon. And then you got Attack Ones, such as Frogadier, Lapras, and Sivy, and Amolga. And then you got Fennekin, which is a Disrupt. Uh, disrupt basically means that it um, makes your, your opponent weaker. So it'll make the defense weaker, or it'll make the speed weaker. It makes some of the stats weaker, depending on certain times. So, also, Shockwave can also decrease the speed of opponents as well. So some attacks actually do carry some status effects. And Eevee's status effect is actually a good one. It boosts it. So, new Pokemon will be released later, so keep your eyes on the official site for more information. Okay, and we're at the memo page, which I haven't wrote down anything. And we're done! That is the Pokemon Tournament video, official site. So, if you want to scan the QR code, I will zoom in on that. So, anybody willing to scan on this QR code, you have the, uh, hopefully if the camera zooms out, I, should, I probably zoomed in a little too close. It lost its senses. Oh, there we go. So, just needed to readjust the lens. And uh, this is official site and official Twitter. So, I know it's not that close, but it's as close as I can get it. Uh, unauthorized reproduction, strictly prohibited by Bandai Namco Entertainment Incorporated. Bandai Namco Entertainment, official site. HTTP uh, backslashes Bandai and uh, coent dot co dot jp. So that's the Pokken Tournament Field Guide Test. I hope you enjoyed a run through of that booklet. So hopefully I'll get back to Let's Play shortly. I'm just in a crazy period of work and uh, some other fun, fun stuff. Very fun stuff. And I mean fun as in not fun, but it should be fun. But it's not fun and uh, probably don't understand what I'm saying. But you get the idea. Maybe. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Pokemon Tournament video. And uh, you know the drill. Like this video. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Next event will be the Dragon Ball Z Butoden uh, event. Unfortunately, the event page only has two people, and I am only one of them. So if that event doesn't pick up in attendance, I will have to cancel it, and it will be goodbye Street Pass Princeton events for quite even longer. <sighs> it's a shame, because I really, really enjoyed it. 
I should probably even tell about the story of Street Pass Princeton, but uh, this video has gone on long too long. It's almost the 20 minute mark. So we'll save that for another video. So again, once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Nick with Street Pass Princeton, signing out. See you guys later. Goodbye.